An arrest in the Idaho murders is drawing a lot of attention to the use of forensic genealogy and DNA in closing these types of cases. It's specialist Mike Anderson talked with a forensics firm here in Utah specializing in genealogical investigations to get their take on how investigators were able to make an arrest. While DNA evidence played a major role in the arrest of Brian Koberger, how it did that is drawing some confusion. Initially, reports suggested that forensic genealogy led investigators to Koberger. It would have been extremely exciting if, if in fact, they had used this technique. Kara Porter is among the many in the world of forensics that got really excited about the possibility. She's the CEO of Intermountain Forensics, only one of three firms in the U.S. that can do what they call Forensic Investigative Genetic Genealogy, or FIG. What it does is it combines uh, genealogy and law enforcement in such a way that you can do DNA testing, upload it, and you may get a match that's a third cousin. DNA goes into a machine that closely analyzes it down to the genome level. The machine right over here can pull matches back to about first cousins fairly quickly, but the one in the back over here can pull much deeper family connections and genealogical databases, which is also why it's pretty expensive. This is the most exciting development in law enforcement in decades. It is going to close tens of thousands of cold cases. It's already helped close cases around the country and here in Utah, but Porter believes the technology will eventually be used in active cases too, since you can narrow down a lead from only DNA. It's why her firm is working hard to make sure it's more accessible. We're a nonprofit, and our whole mission is to reduce the cost of DNA testing for law enforcement and families. They're also looking to state lawmakers to allocate more funding to the resource, but back to Koberger. Porter says in reading his arresting affidavit, it's pretty clear. It's what most people would call a paternity test, yeah. Investigators suspected Koberger because they identified his car, couldn't get a sample of his DNA, so they instead went to his dad's garbage. A bit deflating, but she says any attention to what they call FIG is going to help. This is the future. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.